So today on the table, I've got a Samsung Galaxy Note 10.1 with the model number SM-P605. This one was released back in 2014 and currently it's not producing any image on the screen at all or unless you, sh unless you shine a torch on there, so it's kind of like there's no backlight. To pry it open, you're going to want to take out the S Pen and usually that's the best spot to start and use a plastic pry tool to get in there. Well, actually, I'll switch it to a metal one just to get it started. Be careful, you do require a fair bit of force. So hopefully you don't slip and slice your hand. Anyway, once you've started to get it to pry, nearly there. Now we'll zoom out in just a second, so we ignore the close-up right now. Okay, so I'm just twisting it. And that's got me a start. So from here, I'll zoom out and use my favourite tool, the pizza cutter. As you can see, just opens it up nice and easy, plastic on plastic. We go nearly off. There we go, one last edge. And we're in. So once we're in, what we're going to want to do from here is I'll use a pair of tweezers and I'm going to remove this tape smack bang in the center. I will zoom in in just a second. And then I'm going to disconnect the battery. If you're using tweezers to disconnect the battery, do it from the side with the black wires on it, not the red. There we go, that's flicked up. And then this cable here. This cable here, ten, I don't know why, but it usually fails and then stops having a backlight. Or you'll still see an image on the screen, but it'd be very dark, very faint. And usually it's resolved strangely just by opening it up, disconnecting it and then simply reconnecting it afterwards. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in this video. So judging by the tape being in the relatively stock locations, so it's safe to say this one's never been opened before. And we'll take it out, give it a little bit of a fold, and what I'm going to do is yeah, put it back in. It is a little bit tricky to get it to actually initially go into the clip itself. So I'm going to use a pair of tweezers to aid me in that. And that got it. And the top one is now in. From there I can pull the latch down, reconnect the battery. And put the tape back in its usual spots. Now, I did try and start it up right now, but currently dead flat, so that doesn't help in the, the way of testing. So what I'm going to do is I've just had on a bit of power. Yeah, it did give it some juice, and it was displaying for me, so I'm going to finish up the install. Put the tape back over the back, the battery connector and the flex connector. And the back cover is relatively simple to push on. All you need to do is clamp it with your fingers and massage it around. And you should feel it click into place as you work your way around it. So yeah, that's really all there is to it, to fixing the SMP605 non-backlit issue. I'm going to let the video play out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.